What's going on people, it's the Jake Star Man. Today I'll be giving you guys footage of moves I use and the way I think in order to beat certain characters using Kid Red. As you can see on the screen now, these are my stats to date. I shall talk to you guys through the things I do and why I do them as the video plays through. I hope it helps you guys develop your game and improve your game. First up, the Deserter. We know he has three dashes. The Basically, they can knock you down and stun you, so you need to keep him out of range. You must at all times make sure he cannot dash at least the third dash knocking you down. So basically, you want to keep him at range. So throughout the whole game, I'm going to use as much dynamite as possible to keep him at range. So at the start of the game, we're just going to keep throwing dynamite. Um, we're going to try and wait for him to at least use his dashes even if it's two of them so that we know his third dash even if he's out of range he's probably going to dash towards you and not be able to dash again so now we've just seen him use two dashes I could approach him right now and possibly try and get in range knowing that he's only got one dash left but possibly now he could have two because we don't know how fast his his regeneration is on his stamina so we're still trying to keep him at range all the time keeping him at full range making sure that he can't hit you Trying to get off the stun there. Still keeping him at range, just throwing dynamite. Don't get carried up, don't get ever sucked into his game because he needs you to come closer. If he sits on the ground, tries to pick you off, just keep throwing dynamite. And as you can see there, he got off a dash, finished him off. Easy work. Right, second round, we're going to carry on trying to do the same thing. Keep him at pure distance at all times. It is very important. One dash could finish the game, literally. We, If you haven't played the game, he's very strong. He's very overpowering, so you have to keep him at range at all times. As you can see, um, I'm throwing dynamite again, just trying to keep him at range. Missed the stun there, but he's used three dashes. So I know now he's used three dashes. I try and get aggressive. Because I know, oh, there's the first dash back, so once he's, so I know he's got some stamina back. Just trying to keep him at range. Look at the damage that he's done on me, just from, like, one shot. So that's the reason why it's very important that you guys keep him at range. But overall, easy game. Just like I said, keep him at range, no problems. Right, so next we have Kid Red. We know he's got good fire rate very good fire rate and he's got pretty good range because of the dynamite so playing against yourself is always a hard matchup you kind of got out think your opponent so in the first round as usual I'm just gonna try and keep him at range wait for him to kind of make a mistake I don't know what happened there as I don't know why I got hit as the dynamite was miles away from me apparently but I got hit anyway I'm still trying to pick him off with the dynamite just see if I can get him down see who can make a mistake first obviously the tables are in the way so when I stun him I've kind of got to get around quick I go in for the stun I miss I die so I probably shouldn't have went in there but you have to take a risk every now and again so anyway into the next round the next round obviously what I did figure out from the last round, if you guys didn't notice, is I actually do more damage than he does. So, he's... Basically, I put my stats from what I got in damage. He must have put it somewhere else. I'm not too sure where, but he has. Because of the first round, inside the um, bar or whatever that is, I decided that it's better off that I take the fight outside. So, I actually try and take him outside. As you see, the damage that I dealt was a lot higher than his. So I do know I do more damage and I obviously am better off outside than inside just throwing dynamite trying to pick him apart. So in the next round, I go inside again, but he actually goes outside, which benefits for me to be fair. So as you see, I go into the barn. I actually try and dash down because if he gets if I get there first, I can actually stun him, but he doesn't go inside. So now I've got two stamina bars, so I'm just trying to play smart. I'm trying to use my dynamite to keep him at range as always. Waiting for him to make the mistake. I don't know how that didn't hit. Seeing it as close to him, but it didn't. So we're just trying to keep him at range again. As usual, he's throwing dynamite, I'm throwing dynamite. Like I said, just waiting for him to make a mistake so that I can punish him for it. 
I don't know why he keeps hiding behind cover, but if he does it, then we just have to wait. Um, so I load the dynamite here, and I actually hit him. I hit him, now I force the game. He decides that he's going to put it on me and try and put the stun away. He misses, so I get off the reload. Make sure you reload. I get off two shots there. I get off, actually miss then, but I chase him down because I'm winning. He puts the dynamite in his hand. I stun him. He blows up. Game over. Remember that if Kid Red has that dynamite in his hand and you stun him, don't be near him. Just get away because it's going to blow up. But that's another round. Very close game. Very good game. Next up, Phantom Pancho. We know that this guy has a whip which has incredible range. Make sure you stay out of the range of the whip. It also has like a delay. So if he whips once, then the next one takes a while to whip again. So if you can get him in between the whips, then obviously that's going to give you an advantage. But anyway, we start off always with the dynamite trying to keep him at range. I knock him down and my damage is so high, I kill him. It was a straightforward round. Pretty easy and he probably didn't see it coming because I'm guessing he's been facing people probably easier than that before but anyway next round's going to be slightly different because I doubt he's going to try and rush in hit me with the whip and kill me so anyway start of the second round we get off dynamite always before I even start get out that dynamite see if I can make him get hit with it obviously get away that mistake he's trying to whip me make sure you stay out of range of that whip I'm telling you if it hits you two shots you're probably dead especially with Kid Red so I'm trying to keep him at range again as always he's just chasing me down with the whip as you'll see in a second the delay of the whip is when I'll get him that's when he'll make his mistake so he whips once he whips twice boom stun it game over he's already at like literally dead now he either chases me down or he tries to get off the whip and he does neither of them so he's dead anyway like I said make sure you stay out of the range of the whip make sure you counter him and you'll win the game next up Phantom Pancho again make sure you stay out of the way of the whip because getting hit by that thing and then getting shot will take a lot of damage away from you so going into this game as usual make sure you keep your distance try and you know make sure the distance is correct make sure you pick him off because if he shoots you you'll probably die so I get off the first dynamite get off my shots he hit me with the stun but it's too late if you guys didn't see that took away half of my damage that was one whip one shot so, you, you know, one more shot and you're pretty much dead. So I got away lucky. Um, but the same again, just make sure you try and avoid the whip. Even if you can dash out the way, like I said in the last game, everyone plays differently, but there's a pause in between that whip. If you can, you know, if he whips and you dash out the way, the chances are you'll be able to get off a stun. So anyway, we go into this one again. Tries to whip me, misses. I get off the dynamite, I shoot him down a little, get out of range, reload. He chases me down, tries to get off the whip, I get off my stun, shoot him down, game over. Pretty straightforward game, just make sure you stay out of the whip. So now the final one of today, Kid Red again. Um, this matchup is very good I actually end up adding this guy as a friend I think he's probably the hardest person I've faced in one on one so far so anyway going into this game as usual I try and keep my distance so I try what he knows is that probably most kids reds try and keep their distance so he closes me down straight away with the stun it takes away the damage um, I get off my stun but I didn't have as much effect I missed quite a few shots then so once again we're trying to keep each other at distance trying to make that mistake happen obviously like I said he's a very good kid red player he knows how to use him he tries to close me down when I got the dynamite in, that, in my hand the reason for this is he knows I can't shoot him while I have it in my hand so you know if he can either stun me or get away from some shots while the dynamite is in my hands he could win the game uh, there he tried to drop the dynamite short thinking that I was going to jump into it gets off his stun, I miss a lot of shots then, I die. Um, to be fair, there's not much more I could have done better other than 
not get hit by the first stun, to be fair, because that opened up the game. After that, I was kind of chasing, and I kind of had to force it. But next round, I've seen the way he plays now. I'm going to try and pick him off as best as I can. Like I said, we both had the same moves. We just got to outplay each other. So he tries to throw the dynamite. I throw the dynamite. Like I said, trying to keep each other at range again. I'm waiting for him to come forward because we know how aggressive he is from the last time around. So we're just waiting, hiding, trying to play smart. Trying to wait for him to get that dynamite in his hand, to be quite honest. So he stuns me. But I stun him. He does, he does a lot of damage. But as usual, my damage is very high compared to his. I literally had no health then, so I got away very lucky. Like I said, he was the hardest match so far, by far. Um, so, third. Like I said, we know he is aggressive. We have to outsmart him. We have to do whatever we can in order to beat him. So, always, still from the beginning, I'm trying to keep my distance. I don't go in with a dynamite because we know what he's like. I'm just playing a bit more cautious now because we know he likes to chase you down. So, I'm trying to pick him off as best I can. But at the same time, I'm trying to hit him while he has the dynamite in his hand. So, when I see him with the dynamite, I'll probably try and close him down. So, starting off, like I said, I'm still trying to keep him at distance. He's not using it as much. He's being a lot more cautious than I am. I get away my stun. We both get away our stun. I do a lot more damage than he does, as usual. So, I try and pick him off. He throws the dynamite. I'm still trying to keep him rage. Still trying to just bomb him. Not trying to get in like a I don't know what could happen he could get off a stun and finish me so I don't want that to happen so I'm still trying to keep him at range I see he's got the dynamite in his hand I try and close him down I miss now he's thinking probably the same thing I am he sees the dynamite in my hand he's gonna try close me down so I get out the dynamite again he tries to close me down but this time I drop it right next to him instead of throwing it I just dropped it and he went straight into it um it was a very good game. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you like, subscribe and follow. Thank you for watching.